Today, I'm giving every single club in the Premier League one punishment. This is going to be bad. Oh, my God. We have the wheel of death behind us. We are going to be using it, spinning it for each club. There are punishments on this wheel listed. You guys are going to see 69 rated, zero pace, release strikers, all goalkeepers, so many punishments. It will jump into career mode, spin the wheel for each club, and do whatever the wheel says to that given team. All right, so we're jumping into it with a real club, obviously. Siri, give me a number 1 to 20. The answer is 5. 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, no. Currently. That is not the greatest. Let's go into the career mode. Before we start, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel right now if you haven't already. Click that freaking subscribe button or else. Actually, that would mean a lot. It's free to literally like the video and subscribe to the channel. And um, it's helping us grow, man. The road to a million subscribers. No, actually, man, if you guys could just like take some time out of your day, it helps me massively man we're trying to get to a million likes help push the videos to other people too. comment as well man we have such a great community on this youtube channel right i appreciate it guys let's get into the video all right introduced as i can't believe we got burnley man and our manager name is couch guy i don't know if any of you guys are on couch guy tiktok but it's like all over my timeline right now right so we will be controlling burnley they are gonna get a punishment just like everyone else we are gonna be going in alphabetical order starting with arsenal villa brentford brighton burnley all the way down to the very bottom till the end with wolves okay let's begin with arsenal the first one in the video arsenal what are we going to get it is gonna land on release goalkeepers wow poor arsenal all right so leno um arthur and ramsdale are now all going to be off of this team all right so i've realized to do these pun punishments we have to start outside of the career mode make sure the punishments are in place so like here what we would do is oh and the team's gonna have to have one goalkeeper so all right we're gonna release all the goalkeepers make them free agents uh, long story short i had to change one random player to be a goalkeeper since i released everyone so now this guy's arsenal's goalkeeper all the real goalkeepers are gone why why has leno been added back oh my god ea you're drunk bro oh he's not it says he's it says he's not on the team wait is he how'd they get added back bro this game is so so weird all right there is the arsenal squad one team down 19 to go up next we are spinning for aston villa here we go this team uh, i feel bad for these clubs who already bad enough as i mean villa's a good club actually best player to goalkeeper all right so villa's best player now who is that we're just gonna say highest rated player ings or is it it's oh it's bailey bailey Bailey, however you want to say it he now becomes a goalkeeper all right so should have been done what does that make him what does it drop his rating to 21 overall all right so he basically just becomes irrelevant now okay third team is going to be brentford and i feel like i need to make sure we never get the same one twice so let's erase the ones that we've already got all right this one right here is for brentford let's see what they are going to be given brentford you're defending patrick ferry i literally just added that one you already know the legend of the channel that is patrick ferry so for this one what we're gonna do is release all of brentford strikers so all of them tawny uh wembo and then forced i've said that so wrong and we're gonna make it so the only striker on their team <laughs> is this legend right here patrick ferry so hopefully 49 overall oh Poor Brentford. So yeah, since he's the only striker on the team, he's most likely going to be forced to start. All right, here we go. This is Brighton's chance. Giving it a spin. Here we go. Brighton is going to have to get zero finishing. Everyone on their team gets zero finishing. All right, so the chat, the, the, the stats have been changed. This is the weird thing, though. All of their ratings have stayed the same, but let's make sure one finishing for Wellback. Mapai one, one, everyone. You guys... Well, the, goal, the goalkeepers even have one finishing too. But uh, I mean, you can see for some reason that doesn't change their rating at all. It does change their rating, but it's just not showing. Once we get into the career mode, we'll show. But yes, everyone on Brighton now has one finishing. All right, this is the team we are going to end up managing. Burnley is up next. All right, we're going forward with another spin. And Burnley, zero pace, release strikers, all goalkeepers. All right, so oh wow okay of course bro this is the team that i'm using as well and everyone is about to become a freaking goalkeeper are you kidding me man all right so if i made everyone a goalkeeper actually 
the game just wouldn't work. If you make everyone a goalkeeper, it's um, it's weird. Like the game just crashes. You have to have 18 outfield players on your team and at least one goalkeeper. So I'm gonna go through right now with the cheat engine and make just the entire starting 11. Burnley's starting 11, all about to be goalkeepers once we get back in one second. Oh no. What have we just done to Burnley? No. So bad, man. They're all, literally all of them are goalkeepers. No. 16 overall, 21, 20, 16, 18. Oh no. Burn. Of course, again, it's the team that I'm using, man. Chelsea. All right, what's in store for one of the biggest clubs in the league? All right, spin for Chelsea. Here we go. It is going to land. Release strikers. Release. No, rating flip top three. All right, so flipping the rating of the top three players. Loki, Chelsea got off easy here. Conte, Lukaku, and Jorginho. All right, Conte's about to become a nine overall. All right, so actually what I've decided to do, top three just wasn't wasn't hard enough. It says three right here, but we are going to erase that. And boom, we're going to make it 11. Rating flip their top 11 players. So here's what we have, a nine overall Conte because he was 90 overall. Lukaku gets lucky. His 88 switches to 88. Jorginho, 58, 58, a bunch of 48s, a bunch of 38s, and then one more 38 in Mendy. Yeah, three players just wasn't going to be hard enough. And there is their new starting 11, bro. Okay, Chelsea still might be good because they have a lot of good players off the bench. All right, Crystal Palace, let's spin it for them. Spin the wheel. I've still, as well, been like erasing ones and putting new ones on as we've gone. You probably noticed this next one, Miura. Okay, that's one of the new ones I just wrote. This is going to be similar to the Patrick Ferry one. Alice, we are going to release all of their strikers. And center forward, I'm going to get rid of Zaha too. And of course, they are going to get given the legend himself, the oldest player in FIFA, Coming in at 54 years old, Miura. And since he's the only striker, they're pretty much going to be forced to play him. Up next, boys, Everton. I'm really sorry if you guys can't read some of the things on this wheel. My handwriting sucks. All right, this is 69. Zero pace. Oh, no, Everton's going to get zero pace. All right, this is about to be similar to the finishing one where I'm going to change their pace to zero, but the ratings are going to remain the same on this screen. Okay, it's been done. We just need two back outs. Go back in, and yeah, one pace. I, I It says zero pace on the board, but it's impossible to give someone zero pace, so it's just set to one. Scroll through, make sure everyone's set. Yep, um, it looks as if everyone, even the bench players, all have one pace. Their slowest team in FIFA. You can see how it's affected their rating, though, of their, their like team rating. Now they now have 73 attacks, 73 midfield, 75 defense. Okay, Leeds United. Oh my God, stop spamming the chat, bro. I don't need emojis covering my face. You guys can barely see me. It's landed on zero stamina now. Everyone's just getting zero stats everywhere. Okay, right, Leeds United, same situation. Let's give them zero stamina. It has been done officially. Back out. They go to, okay, you can see again how it's affected their their stars. They go to three and a half stars. I wish it showed what their ratings drop to. It's just, it's weird that it doesn't. You can see right to the, it's like right here. This is their stamina and you can see it's, um, yep, it is one for everyone. All right, we're coming into some of the bigger clubs now, Leicester City. Here it is, Leicester City. Let's see what you guys, I need to switch my screen. Probably should, right? Yep, it's switched. Here we go. What has it landed on for Lester? Release starting 11. Oh my God. Right, this entire starting 11 is about to disappear. That might be one of the worst ones you can get, I think. Vardy, no more. Indeedy, Schmeichel. The Omens is not in the starting 11, actually, so not to release him. Pareta, Madison is, Barnes is. Evans is not. You are gone. Oh, wait, hold up. Yori Thielmans was in the starting 11. My bad. Perez, Vestigard. Is that it? I think we've gotten everyone. Oh, wait. Bertrand. Yeah, he was the last one. Okay, everyone is officially gone. Oh, no. My face is frozen. Someone help me, bro. I'm stuck, bro. Look how ugly I am. Can you guys see how... Hey, there we go. I'm back, boys. Here it is. The new starting 11 for Leicester City. I love Leicester, bro. Okay, EA, bro. Oh, not EA. I should be talking to the wheel. Give them something terrible. I want to completely destroy Liverpool. Spin to win, or I guess it says spin to win on here. I guess in our case, it's spin to lose. Here it is. Release 25 plus age players. So anyone over 25 
is going to be gone from Liverpool. Oh, God. That's a lot of the Liverpool players. This is, this is about to be really bad right here. Mane, gone. Salah, gone. Van Dijk, gone. Allison gone. I mean, these guys are all... I mean, yeah, they're all way over 25. Robertson, gone. Trent, you can stay. Thiago, gone. Fabinho, gone. Firmino, gone. Henderson, way gone. Dude, Liverpool. Oh, my God. They have a ton of older players. Gomez will be good. Abby Kates are gone. Milner are gone. I think Ox. How, how old is the Ox nowadays? 28. All right, I've gotten to a point where I can't release anymore. So they're just going to be stuck with who they have. This is Liverpool's remaining team, bro. Carius, he's over... 25 but again i i they their squad like i couldn't physically release anymore so they get lucky some of their over 25 year old players get to stay liverpool is no longer a giant anymore boys rip but i love it they're gonna be led by freaking oh my god nothing other than divok or Rigi up front carius and goal liverpool's turned into a meme team now all right i hope we get the same for city i want to destroy them as well city man i hope they don't get one of the easy ones i'll actually be really bad all right release you 20 Release all... Dude, I've just kept replacing this same one and it's landed on every time. Release all English, which means basically we're going to release every single English player player from England on the team. Okay, so oh, this one actually might not be bad for them. Sterling gone. Ah, oh, this is actually an easy one because they have like no English players. Walker, Fodden, Graylish, Stones. Dude, they're actually still going to be really good. They keep KDB, Ederson, Laporte. It's still really good, unfortunately. Um, yeah, that's unlucky, man. Here's the thing, though. They don't have a lot of reserve players, so maybe that will go against them. But it is a full team with uh, no English players. So, yes. All right, Manchester United, what are they going to get? I'm hoping that they get... God, what's a really bad one on here? Oh, there's one that says 100 years old. It'd be funny if they got that. They get midfielders equals zero passing. Kind of like another easy one, but um, not really, actually. All right, so anyone at cam, left mid, right mid, CDM, central midfield, you're passing, it's set to zero. So check this out. Look at what the team has gone to. The, the midfield itself are 63, 70 rated Bruno Fernandez, 66 Sancho, 62 Fred, 60 Pogba, 60 Greenwood. Everyone, bro. Van de Beek, McTominay, Matic, Rashford. Freaking Lidgard. No, bro. He deserves 99, not freaking 64. Thing is, they still have good players in other positions, so it's going to be interesting to see how that affects United. How about this? The club that's getting taken over in real life by freaking trillionaires, Newcastle. It's funny because Newcastle in real life, yeah, they're getting taken over by like billionaires. They're about to become like an incredible team. Not in this career mode. They are release top three. That's actually not bad compared to some of the other ones. Newcastle, bro. Getting off quite easy here. All right, so all they lose is their goalkeeper, St. Max Immin and Wilson. Yeah, they're still going to be very decent. All right, Norwich. We only got a few left, right? Like five clubs left? We get sell defense. So basically, going to have to sell anyone who is at a defensive position. This one low-key stinks, man. They get to keep their keepers, but uh, no right back, so... Aaron's gone. All of them. All their center backs. Boom, 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 boom. We'll keep... See oh, wow. So they don't even have enough room to release them all. All right. They get lucky. They get to keep one of their left backs. That is what they're looking like. That's not good. Okay, right. Southampton. Almost done, man. What will it be for Southampton FC? It will be only English players. All right. So I've already done that one. Only English players. Didn't, no, we did the opposite. Yeah, that was for Man City when they did. we did anyone but English players. So basically, Southampton, it is sell all foreign players. So it's looking like they are going to, like, I don't think we're going to have enough players to field a full English team. Like, this dude's Brazilian. He'll go. They may end up keeping a few of their lower rated non-English players, I'm going to guess. Yep. Okay, so a few of them. You're English. Any other goalkeepers? Nah. Okay, so 20 total players. But yeah, a few, a few of their lower rated players will stay who are not English just because they need to fill the team. So that's the starting 11. They're still going to be terrible. All right, what are we saying here for Tottenham Hotspur? I just know for Spurs, they have to get rid of like Son and Kane, man. That would be ideal. Let's see what it's going to be. Full free Indian League? Indian League. Okay. All right, so it just says Indian League is what it's landed on. What this one is going to mean is we're going to replace their starting 11 and give them 11 players from the Indian League. All right, Harry, can't, you know what? We're going to transfer them to the Indian League as well. 
Kane, Son, Lorish, Hushberg. Double A is not a starter. Mora, Rejulon. Uh, Bergwin, no. Deli Ali, yes. Sanchez, Emerson, Dyer, and Skip. And in return, they're just going to trade with uh with these players right here in the Indian League, the top 11 players from this club. Not sure if they will use any of these guys, but maybe they will. I don't know. There you go. Congrats, Spurs. You got 11 new players. Spurs dropped the four stars. Doesn't look like they put any of those Indian League players in their starting 11, though. Three clubs left. Up next is Watford. It's hard, man, coming up with more ideas because, you know, again, we keep erasing the ones we've already used. There's so many different ideas up on this wheel right now. For Watford, what are they about to get? Trade best players. So this is the first one I've had with trade in the title. They are going to trade their five. We're going to do five best players to a random Premier League team in exchange for their worst five players. Just use Siri to give us the club they're going to trade with. Siri, give me a number one to 20. It's six. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's Chelsea. Okay, so Chelsea, you're going to get the five best players from Watford. So this one actually helps Chelsea out. So they're going to get the legend Ben Foster, Sar, Sissoko, Kuka, and then Tufan. And then in return, oh, it's some of the players... Okay, we're not going to count the players whose ratings have swapped. So we will start with Brooking. That will be a one, two, three, four, five. Quite an easy one there for Watford. Their team still remains not good. All right, West Ham United up next. All right, we're going with a massive spin right here for West Ham. What will it land on? Giveaway top seven. Giveaway top seven. So we are going to give away their top seven players to Premier League clubs. So we're just going to go from where we're at. So since we are on West Ham right now, Ariola will go to Wolves. Declan Rice to Arsenal. Su Suisek to Villa. I said that wrong. Uh, Fabianski, Zuma to Brighton. Vlasic to Burnley. And then Ogbana to Chelsea. That is seven, right? Yes, it is. How freaking kind of West Ham to just give players away. Last one, Wolves. I'm going to go for the biggest spin ever for this one. Ready? Here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is going to take 10 years to stop. Huh? I had time to run around my room and we got zero defending that has absolutely destroyed them wow they go to 40 defending i wasn't expecting that wow and it says okay so not all of them are at zero defending i've reset slide tackle standing tackle marking so those three stats have all gone to one overall i didn't know oh and an, and an interceptions too forgot about that one um defensive yeah no i've done all i could to make their defending as low as possible i don't know what the other stats are that are saying otherwise but bro, let's just say their defense is bad enough all right finally back into the career mode oh my god i don't know how long that took to edit but that was just two hours to record so at this point all that's left to do is sim and see after all these punishments who wins the league now it's probably not gonna be burnley remember they all oh god burnley all became goalkeepers but they still have good stats in the, the positions that like in their normal positions, they may, they may end up, this one may not end up being bad. If I had to guess though, man, didn't man, man City's still pretty good. Man City's prop, man City will probably win it. But as for everyone else, I have no idea. No development plans, no trainings, just simming. Let's go. Here we go. The season's over. Here's the predictions, bro. It's gotta be City, right? I'd be shocked if it wasn't City. Or will Burnley make a run? Let's find out. All right, I'm about to back out and show you guys the bottom of the league. So here is the bottom of the league. Watford, Brentford, Norwich, Wolves, Newcastle, Leeds, Brighton, Crystal Palace. To be honest, the bottom looks like the normal bottom of the league if we didn't even do anything. Do we move and we count up? 11 is Everton. I think they lost all their pace, right? West Ham, or 12 is Everton. 11 is West Ham, Southampton. Arsenal, nine. Leicester, eight. Yo, Liverpool, seven. Okay, that's the first, like, out of place one, and it's deserved. Liverpool lost a ton. Chelsea, Chelsea. Burnley, fifth. Yo, oh my God, we did really well, actually. Spurs, four. Man United, three. Villa, and then it was Manchester City. Yo, fair play to Aston Villa. What a run from them. I can't remember. What did we do to Villa again? Right, Ronaldo top goal scorer um oh yeah villa villa got it off easy we only made leon bailey a goalkeeper the rest of their team literally stayed the same and i think they got added a few players as well yo super fun video man if you want some more experiments like this first off smack the like button click right here to subscribe also click right here i'm gonna be putting a random experiment video from one of my past fifas that you may not have seen so take a look at it if we can hit 20 000 likes i'll do this again but instead of punishing every team i'll give them a reward i think that could be really really fun